I have my used IPA right here and I have my UV lights right here. I'm hoping I can just leave these on for about 15 minutes and see results. Oh wow, instantly. You can see it reacting right there. Put it on this side. So this is the uncured resin instantly reacting to the UV light. I did not expect to see that at all. Maybe this will work way better than I thought. All right, so I'm just gonna leave this for about 15 to 20 minutes and come back and see what happens. Oh wow, and it's already very cloudy looking. It's only been about five minutes or so, and it's already very cloudy. Let's take the lid off this and see. It almost looks like expired milk. Oh. Hopefully that will help some of the uncured particles get cured. Well, fuck. I'm gonna try something else. Both attempts at filtering were a complete failure. I could say right now that even if I could filter this stuff, it's just messy and gross and I'm not having fun. The proper way to dispose of this stuff is just to put it in a bottle and leave that out in the sun for an indefinite period of time until there's precipitate condensed in the bottom. And then you can decide on whether or not you wanna reuse the stuff on top. Personally, I think it's better just to buy new IPA. This stuff is $4 a quart at Walmart. Even though it is possible to filter this stuff out with a professional filter, I don't really think it's worth it. Oh, so this was what was in the bottom of the container. Uh. So I had about two liters here. This would be about $8 at Walmart. I'm gonna leave these outside for a few days and then I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like when they're ready to be disposed of or reused. We'll see what we end up doing. As you can see, there's some pre precipitate down at the bottom here. Leaving it outside really didn't do much. Conclusions. Is it possible to filter and reuse your IPA? Yes. Should you do it? That's up to you. Me personally, I am not going to be filtering out my IPA. 